What's going on, everybody? Spunky Nights and I want to come you guys from another video. So, the Eagles have finally moved on from offensive coordinator Mike Grow, and they also have parted ways with wide receiver coach Carson Welch. <laughs> So yesterday during the press conference, Doug Peason said that he uh, was planning to keep, that he was going to keep uh, Mike Grow and Carson Welch. And then today, the Eagles officially move on from um, you know, both of these guys. I'm going to read to you guys real quick the statement that uh, Doug Peason made in regards to um, the firing of um, Mike Grow and Carson Welch. Here's what he had to say. He said, at the much, consider at the much consideration and discussion, I have decided to make a change at the offensive coordinator and wide, re and wide receivers co um, coach positions. It was not an easy decision for me to make, and I appreciate everything that Mike Grow and Carson Welch contributed to the, to the organization and to my staff. As I said yesterday, they were a big part of our success down the road, down the stretch this past season. This is one of the most difficult parts of the job and something that weighs on me. But ultimately, I have to make I have to make decisions that I believe are in the best interest of the football team moving forward. <clears throat> I apologize for my confusion that I created during yesterday's press conference, including my comments on uh, Coach Swartz, who has done a great job as our defensive coordinator. It was my uh, it was not in my um, in my intent not to comment on on any of my staff during the ongoing evaluations because I wanted to be able to go through the process and communicate any decision directly with the individuals. I did a, I did a poor job of explaining that, that the first time I was asked. I will continue to evaluate everything and consider all possibilities to improve our football team. So that right there was um, Coach uh, Doug Peason giving this explanation, um, explain, you know, following the firings of um, – Mike Grow and uh, Carson Welch. Now, Jim Swartz could also be on his way out, not because of being fired, but because of um, right now he's a head coach candidate. There are, there are a couple teams that are interested in him, primarily the Cleveland Browns, who requested they requested permission to um, interview him. So we could possibly be looking for a new defensive coordinator when it's all said and done. Now, you guys know how I feel. I'm happy as hell when it comes to especially Mike Grow. I am so happy that this clown is finally out of here. This clown is a freaking idiot. He was fired by his by his um his father when he was the um offensive coordinator at the University of Virginia. Um this was the idiot that got up there in the minute that he had no idea, no idea whatsoever how to use you know how to use Go to Tate in his offense. Go to Tate which the Giants had did very it did quite well in their offense. The same idiot that was saying that he saw Matt Collins improving and, you know, he think, he think Matt Collins is a great contributor to our team. An idiot that knows nothing about football, that should have never been hired in that, posi that position to begin with. I would have been okay with Mike Grove going back to wide, wide receiver coach because, you know, let's be honest, he did a pretty good job with our wide receivers in 2017. So I would have been okay with that. But offensive coordinator, hell no, he had to go. I hope this now means that Deuce Staley finally gets the promotion that he deserves. I, I felt back then, you can go back and watch my videos, man. I said back then, Deuce Staley should have been given that promotion. So I don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna promote Deuce Staley or not. But this idiot might grow. I am. There's no there's no words to describe how 
it's how very how excited I am right now by this news. I told you guys, man, regardless of how this season went, I wanted Mike Gross' ass out of here, and that did not change. He should have been fired last season, but like I told you guys, man, I didn't want no excuses to keep him around. And I'm not buying that statement by I'm not buying that statement by Dub Pizza whatsoever. I think that Dub Pizza had every intention of keeping Mike Grow. I think he I think he saw, oh, we made the playoffs, so let's keep Mike Grow. I think, you know, those two had a very close relationship. They have a very close relationship. And I think he wanted to keep him. Now I can't prove what I'm about to say next, but this is what I believe. I believe that um Harry Roseman and Jeffrey Lurie told him, hey man, if you don't get rid of these, you don't get, especially my Mike Grove, if you don't get rid of this dude, then your job is on the line. And I think I think that's what it came down to. He realized his job was on the line if he didn't get Mike Grove, if he didn't fire Mike Grove. That's what I honestly believe. I can't prove that, obviously, because I'm not within the organization. But I believe that Doug Pizza had every intention of um, keeping Mike Grove as a coach. I think that uh, Roseman and uh, Jeffrey Lurie let him know. They 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 um they gave him ultimatum basically. You either fire Mike Grow or you go with him. That's honestly what I believe. I, no, I'm not buying this bullshit that he said in this statement here. Yesterday he made it. He, no, yesterday he said he, that 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 uh, Carson Welch and um, Mike Grow was staying. I think that um I think that Roseman and um Lurie sat down with them after that press conference and they told them that you gotta make you gotta fire these guys. You gotta move on for, especially from uh, Mike Grow, you gotta move on. And I think I ultimately believe that's what happened. But regardless of what happened, man, like I said, that's my belief. I can't prove that. But regardless of what happened, man, I am absolutely I am absolutely excited right now, man. Mike Grow, you are a bum. If you I I hope you never get a coaching position ever again. But especially not with my team. Of course, don't no, no pack your bats, get the hell out of Philadelphia. Don't don't bring him back as a wide receiver coach. I know I said I would have been okay with with uh, him being a wide receiver coach, but no, kick rocks, kick rocks, Mike Rowe. And I hope we I hope we find the right guy to replace him. I think Deuce Staley has um rightfully earned that position. Will he get that Will, will he get that position off of off as a coordinator? I don't know. We'll see in the upcoming days what they decide to do with offensive coordinator, but you know, I feel like Duce Lee definitely has paid his dues. I think he definitely has earned a opportunity to to be a um, play caller in this league, offensive play caller. So we'll see, we'll see. But uh, Carson Welch and Mike Grow, don't let the door hit you on the ass on the way out. We will not miss you whatsoever. I know. I think I speak for most Eagle fans, probably 99.9% .9 Eagle fans, where I say, good riddance, goodbye, have fun, find employment elsewhere. You know, Mike Grow especially, you know, you, you know, you have been a terrible play caller. You know, you have been very predictably, you know, very predictable offensively. And, you know, you're an idiot that don't know anything. You know, you don't know, you, you know, you don't know how to utilize players to their best ability. So, good riddance to you. You know, right now, I am absolutely happy. I'm very, very happy right now, man. I told you guys, I, I said, no matter what happens in the playoffs, I don't want the playoffs to be no excuses. Regardless of what happens in the playoffs, Mike Grow must go. I, I kept saying that to you guys. It did not matter to me whatsoever what happened in the playoffs. Mike Grow had to go. And I'm glad that the, that the plug has been pulled on his ass. And, um, yeah. I'm not buying what Dub Pizza said. I think Dub Pizza had every attention of keeping this clown. You know, they have a very close relationship. I think that um Lurie and um, you know, Roseman, they they I think they spoke to I think they spoke to um Dub Pizza after that press conference and they said, Hey, either either they go, I mean, well they they you know, either either you fire them or you go with them. I think that they were gone either way. But I think um you no know, Dub Pizza had every attention of keeping both of those guys. But I think, like I said, I think Roseman and Lurie said, e either you fire Mike Grow or you go with him. And obviously, when somebody's jo jobbing online, they're gonna go ahead and fire the other people. So, whatever the reason is why he changed it, why he changed his mind, <coughs> it, it's really not important. The important thing is, like I said, Mike Grow is gone. Celebrate, Eagle fans. Let's get an offensive coordinator here that knows what the hell he's doing, that knows how to utilize talent. That's not going to be predictable with his play calling. Let's get a guy here, man, 
that can really get this offense back to what it was, the form that it was in back in 2017. Could that be Deuce Staley? I think it could be. And I hope that Duke, I, I really pray and hope that Deuce Staley gets a job. But we shall see, man. You know, we shall see. But, I, but right now, man, it's celebration time. It's absolutely celebration time. Thank you to the football gods for answering the prayers of Eagle fans and get rid of Mike Groves bomb ass. Get you know, get rid of his ass, man. Very happy about this. But anyway, man, you guys let me know anything in the comment section. Are you happy like I am that Mike Groves is finally gone? <laughs> if you are like I am, tell me why in the comment section. If you're not, tell me why in the comment section. But um, you guys, like you guys know how I feel, man. I'm absolutely excited. I'm ecstatic, man. You know this should have happened last season after last season, but I but the playoffs I think kept this job last year. I was afraid that the playoffs were gonna keep his job again this year, but obviously that was not the case. Thank freaking God. But anyway, I'm out of here, man. As always, go birds. Spunky nice nine one is out of here. Good luck finding employment elsewhere. Might grow a Carson Welch. Kick rocks, get, pack your bats, get the hell out of Philadelphia. Peace.